In this video, I'm going to show you how to use BioRender in PowerPoint. So the first thing you want to do is open up PowerPoint and then a presentation. And once you have that, you want to click on the Home tab up here. And then you want to click on Add-ins here on the right. So after this, you want to search for BioRender. There we go. And then you want to click on Add. As you can see, I have it added over here already. And what you're going to have to do from here is you're going to have to log in or sign in, whatever you want to call it. So you want to put in your email address or you can just continue with Google or Microsoft in case you're signed up with that. If you don't have an account, click sign up over here and you'll be able to sign up. So for me, I'm just going to sign in with my account over here. I'm going to press continue. I'm going to put in my password. There we go. Press continue again. And after this is done, as you can see, it's going to start authenticating. And here on the right, it says you can then basically just create an image. So you can either create new, it can be an illustration, a poster or a graph, or just add an image. So if I click on add an image over here, as you can see, it's going to basically pull up my illustrations that I basically created inside my BioRender account on the website. So here, I'm just going to open up this one, which I just created for this instance, click on that, click on add image. And then just like this, as you can see, this has been imported in here. Now, that's basically the first thing that you can do. Now, the second thing, of course, if you were able to see earlier, you can, of course, make it your own as well. So let me just close this down. There we go. And I'm going to open it back up again. There we go. And you can click on add a new image. And then from here, you can, of course, add another one in case you want to. So we can uh, basically see between my files and then shared files as well over here. And as you were able to see earlier, you can also create your own in case that's not something that you want to do. So, of course, uh, you can do pretty much anything you want in here. So, yeah, that's how you do it. It's quite easily. I hope this video helped you out. In case it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.